All right, the eve of Friday, April 21st. Coffee Mill Lake Recreation Area, I think, is going to be my home this weekend. I've got uh, hiking, I have a lake to put the kayak on, and these, uh, these campsites aren't vehicle accessible, but uh, that one over there, I was able to pull right up against, so uh, shouldn't be a problem. Love this pressure shower. Uh, it's got a sink dealy. Uh, hose, whatever. Dealy. Call it whatever one. All pressurized. Have chips and salsa. Mm, just like that. Gonna do a full deployment here this weekend. Set up the, uh, the awning and the shower shelter, but uh, there's a hundred percent chance of storms tonight, which is always fun. So I'm just going to leave the uh, camper up for night and just leave it at that. I'll set up everything else tomorrow. The sky is a mix of storm clouds and sunset right now. I'll be going back to the Jeep in a few minutes, but it's just beautiful out here. The storm is here. It's hail. I hate hail. relocated camp this morning. Uh, I'm at the same campground off of Coffee Mill Lake, but I saw an opportunity to park next to that table and extend my awning over it near the water, so I took it. Um, it's a nice spot. I imagine I'll see some traffic today, but that's okay. I was camped up there, so uh, spent the night uh, by those trees. Okay, tripod, please hold my phone and do not fall into the water. I think I'm uh, taking this journey for granted a little bit. I don't think it's... It's very common for someone to have the opportunity to uh, travel uh, and live in their vehicle and, you know, work remotely, earn money remotely, and see all the places that I'm seeing. Uh, I'm so caught up in worrying all the time that I don't really stop to smell the roses and take it all in. I mean, it's really, really awesome. Even if for some reason, you know, it doesn't work out and I have to go right back home. Um, it's been over a month so far and I've just experienced a lot. If you have the opportunity to, to do this, uh, I say go for it. Even if you think that you're, you're close, you're not quite ready, but you think you could just go but I need to stop taking it for granted I need to stop worrying as much as I do and, um, and enjoy and make an extra effort to collect experiences although my phone falls into the water, you're never going to get that message. Look at how the water beads on these lily pads. Isn't that cool? That is really far out. I've got company. I'm being visited in Caddo um, off of um, Coffee Mill Lake uh, by Matt Pfeiffer, who brought beer and he brought his Jeep. He goes through the dozer on Instagram, and uh, what'd you bring, Matt? 
brought you some local brews to try out since you're from Texas. This is the one I'm particularly proud of uh, having extra for you. It's a good limited RAR and Sons beer in Fort Worth. It's a barrel aged uh, stout that is beyond delicious. It only comes out once a year. Yeah. And then you got the uh, good old Off the Leash from Noble Ray. It's a little fun kinky design on the beers. Most of the time they stack them where the head's on top of the very kinky body. And then a uh, good old local brew for me from McKinney, Texas, that's where I'm from. It's Tup's Brewing. This is their sweet stout. This is an all year round stout. Yeah. It's fantastic. Oh, thank you so much. This is awesome. In addition to beer, Matt just gave me a badass shovel. Oh. As it makes the sheath uh, exit noise. Yeah. Look at this. This is a Hattori Hanzo shovel. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. But it does have uh, uh, artisan roots. Um, in exchange, I gave him my old foldable. <laughs> Still hanging out with Matt on Saturday by the fire, by the lake. Um, interacting with real people is just so refreshing. Thanks, Matt. Glad to be here, man. Absolutely. See you, dude. Out for a hike, and uh, something smelled really sweet. I'm like, what is that? That smells wonderful. And it wasn't me by any means, but uh, it's a patch of honeysuckle. Spring is in the air. I'm digging it. As usual, I can't pronounce where I am, uh, but this trail, this hiking trail, uh, goes around or next to Coffee Mill Lake in Caddo Grasslands in Texas. And I think it's called the Boys de Arc Multi-Use Trail. Um, a lot of hoof prints from horseback riders. Okay. Trail three is pretty long, over six miles at least. Trail two, probably three miles back to camp. Trail two it is. Making one of my favorite deluxe grilled cheese sandwiches. It's uh, two slices of white uh, with white American cheese, um, pepperoni, pepperoni slices, I've got four of them in there, and uh, I take one of these and cut it up and put it in the grilled cheese too for some extra flavor and it's really creamy. I'm so hungry right now, you have no idea. Another day, another shower. Feels good. Feels really good. I just found out that there was a 2.7 magnitude earthquake back home at my apartment. I hope my porcelain figurine collection is okay. It's been uh, one of those trying nights. It's Sunday night. Uh, I was gonna roll in the morning, but I had my nice uh, campsite by the lake that you saw, and um, on Sunday night, tonight, people were there drinking. Um, it got louder and louder and louder, and then uh, people were urinating uh, publicly, and um, and then on top of all that, uh, a heartbroken woman, which I feel bad for her because heartbreak sucks, but uh, she came tearing into the parking lot, uh, blasted a, a song uh, on 
her stereo. Just about heartbreak and everything. Started yelling into her phone, smashed something in the parking lot, and then peeled out again. And then there was more public urination immediately after that. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I am so out of here. I've camped here before. It, fortunately, it was right down the road. And it'll do for tonight. Driving around the city of uh, Dallas, Texas. I'm taking the bypass, so it does not look like I'll be seeing the city. But uh, it's right there outside my passenger side window. A uh, happy side effect of living out of my vehicle is uh, that I'm losing a lot of weight. And I'm going to stop by uh, REI because I have a dividend that I can spend for a new pair of shorts. And people are watching me talk to my phone in a weird place, so I'm going to go now. some canyon lands west of Austin. Um, I didn't do a lot of research on the map before I came here, just uh, heading toward a marked free campsite. Um, but rolling mountains, rolling hills, uh, a very Texas landscape, it's, uh, it's really remarkable. Wow, look at this beautiful spot in Texas. This is west of Austin, near Marble Falls, and this campsite is free, and it's gorgeous. really that easy. This is at least warm. There we go. I'm camped next to the Colorado River in near Marble Falls, Texas, and today I'm taking a break from my normal work schedule to visit um, Enchanted Rock State Park. Um, a friend recommended, recommended it, and also a dude in the coffee shop, so pretty excited for that. Um, the 
big question this morning is, do I get coffee on the road or do I make it myself? And I think I'm going to make it myself just to, you know, save some money and not get into bad habits. So Enchanted Rock is a gigantic pink granite dome, I believe. it on the horizon. Wow. Entrance permit required. Entry fee, seven dollars per person. Welcome back. Now entering a stress free zone. Well, I'm sold. Uh, obtain entrance permits inside. Okay, cool. I will do that. I don't really have to go to the bathroom. be doing a little bit of hiking today. All right, I'm in uh, I'm in Texas at Enchanted Rock Natural Area, uh, basically a state park, and it is just wow. Um, that's the big granite dome behind me. Um, so I'm doing a loop trail around the dome, and then. Um, I'm going to go up to the top of the dome at the very end, maybe even catch a sunset, I don't know. Looks like I could go right up the granite slab to the summit if I wanted to. I'm gonna keep going around the, uh, the loop trail though. All right, I finished the loop around the mountain. Um, now I'm going to slowly work my way up, try to find shade. exploring. Uh, I'm at the top of the mountain, found this little secluded area that kind of, these rocks uh, to my left here are blocking the wind nicely, so I don't know, maybe if I find a cool spot here I'll hang out until the sun gets lower in the sky. Uh, I found this rock formation uh, near the top of the mountain. I peered down into one of the holes and uh, I'm in this like it's not a cave, it's just a bunch of rocks. Alright, it's um, Thursday 
in Marble Falls, Texas, and I'm currently in the Starbucks parking lot. I'm going to go down uh, about an hour south of here to Spring Branch, Texas to visit Pronghorn Overland Gear. Uh, they're manufacturers of, of really cool uh, Jeep bumpers and Toyota bumpers. Um, winch mounting systems, recovery attachment points, um, stuff like that. So looking forward to meeting them and seeing their facility and finding out what they're all about. Okay, I'm at, I'm at Pronghorn in uh, Spring Branch, Texas, and Julie is showing me the link tracks, which is their, that's what it's called, right? Yes. The uh, new traction mat that they just yeah. came out with. Yeah. So these will be the crates, and then basically the thing the idea is that, that the uh, these will kind of kind of you just want to tuck it right under the, uh -huh. the wheel so it makes contact to the terrain and the wheel. And then what happens is I actually have to flip the other way, but it's supposed to lay that way, and the tires will actually grip onto this, and it'll just kind of pull it under, uh -huh. and then you know the uh, the wheel will just kind of roll over on top. And the good thing about this is that because of the flexibility to any kind of terrain yeah, yeah yeah and um we were surprised that it, it it floated almost like on mud you don't get the sinking sometimes you see it you don't get the suction yeah yeah and so this is actually 10 pounds heavier than the actual one because um the process that we use it is a, is a different process but because of the prototype it was just too expensive because the process that we would normally use would require that we have to do like a large volume of runs. Okay. Yeah, and so this is just be cut being uh, from CNC, and so it's not as yeah. light because the the actual one is just about like another millimeter thinner. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's really cool yeah. and really innovative. It's, yeah, it's really rugged, and actually we are um, testing right now to try to go even thinner. Yeah. Because um, we've had a couple of. Uh, people express interest, but because of the weight and what they're going to be doing with it, they wanted it to be lighter. Okay. So, Can you? Yeah. How small does that particular uh, version fold up? It will. It will fold up the same, um, but it will just basically thinner. But then the other thing too that our engineers are looking at is that it might be that we might have to just make this entire piece right here smaller overall okay okay so yeah we're still um basically looking to, into that prototype so i mean because there's going to be i mean if you really think about it we even have a a model for heavy duty equipment mm -hmm. so let's say like caterpillar um oil trucks you know you're those industries basically for several months during the rainy seasons they shut down okay you know and so now they're not worried about their trucks getting stuck so we've had, um, we've spoken to forest ranger people, mm -hmm. search and rescue, and it's just one of those things that, you know, like I was reading on your um, Instagram post and, you know, you were saying in one posting that you, you're pushing yourself to kind of venture out in other places that you wouldn't typically go. Yeah. So this yeah. would be ideal because now you know that you can do that. Yeah. You don't have to worry. Like for me, I don't know anything about running a winch, which mm -hmm. could be a little bit scary. And then, you know, um, what if you don't have a tree or a rock to latch I know, onto? I know. Yeah. Well, preparedness goes a long way. And yeah. this is definitely something that you can throw in the back of your vehicle yes. and, and just throw down whenever you right. get stuck, lose traction. Right. Well, eventually, one of these days, you know, it might be one of those things that are required in a car, just like a, a tire changing kit. Yeah. You know? Um, we have uh, actually one of our employees, our sales employees, she actually, uh, her and her husband used to be um, part of the team that does off-roading. Mm -hmm. And she was telling me how their two cars during that competition, they both got stuck, their Jeeps got stuck and they spent hours and hours just digging themselves out. Yeah. You know, and the other, they were both stuck so they could help each other. And so she immediately saw this and understood it right away. Yeah. You know, where yeah. was this? So yeah, we're really excited. We, the one thing we haven't tested on yet is snow. So that's one of the next things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, here in mm -hmm. southern Texas. Yeah, you don't get too much of that. Oh, I see plenty of it back in yeah. Pennsylvania. Well, yeah. thank you for sharing that. Yeah. Um, that's, that's a really interesting, innovative piece of equipment. This free campground near Marble Falls continues to deliver. I just went to another end of it that I didn't explore in the past few days. And there's the, an even more gorgeous campsite over here.
crap, I just found my tent fabric has a minor tear in it from where it must have come in contact with the lift mechanism when I'd close it. This isn't meant for fabric, but I'm going to put seam sealer. It'll be abrasion. Okay, I just applied a little bit of uh, Gear Aid seam grip with a brush over the, the small tear there. It's a field repair, but I think it'll do the job nicely. All right, it's Friday morning. I'm at Starbucks in Marble Falls. It's been um, a whirlwind of a week. Uh, collected a lot of experiences and uh, met a lot of cool people. Um, visited Enchanted Rock. Uh, found some awesome free camping and uh, visited Pronghorn, met Julie, uh, met Matt Pfeiffer, um, just had a great time. So I'm going to wrap it up and uh, push this video live now. Uh, but thanks for following, along, following along and uh, next week should be really interesting so stay tuned.